Okay, so here in this video, I'm gonna show how to remove the scratches off of this watch crystal. The camera is not picking up those scratches, but they're right there. I'm gonna zoom in on that, Yarrow. Mm -hmm. You got them, where is it? The, crystals, the shadows. The shadows right there. I also have a loop. I just had a, it's right here, Yarrow, the loop. I don't know if the loop's gonna yeah, show it. Can you see it? Where am I? So do you see that scratch? Where are you going? You're to the right. No, no, right here to the right. There's a scratch right there. There's tons of them. Okay, so anyways, well, clearly we can't show you that perfectly. Can I come real close? So these are the wheels I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the Trizac green, uh, pink, blue, and orange. So yeah, if I was gonna do it, hold on. Yeah, it's hard to show. It's really hard to show the scratches. You see them better off here. Look. Yeah, you can see the shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really, they're deep. So we're gonna see how much we can do. You can actually see them like this. Watch this. This will expose them really good. You can see the scratches now. You see the scratches right mm -hmm. there? You see a scratch oh, yeah. right there, right here, right there. There's a few of them. See? There we go. There's all the scratch. You'll see. So let's go ahead and start grinding them down. So I'm going to use the Trizac, add some water. Here we go. Let's sand this sucker down. So I'm going to... Can you pull it out more, Yara? A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more so I can stand out here. Yeah, I don't need to hold this. Okay, so we're just going to add some water to it and just hold it just like this. So you're going to see them pop. So let's see what we're going to accomplish now. So we want to sand down the whole thing. Add some water. So you can see the scratches. So we so we have so we sanded them all. We still I told you there's a deep one right there, Nolene. Mm -hmm. So do you guys see that the scratch one right there? So now whenever you have, there's one right there too, wow, there's one right there. So whenever you have scratches that are pretty deep, you have to decide if it's worth how much more are you gonna sand. Because you don't wanna sand too much where there's no there's no you know, nothing left. So right there is problem child. I knew it. Didn't I tell you, Nolene, that's the deepest one yeah, you have? But look, the other one's gone. Yeah, they're all gone. All the other ones are gone. So, Nolene, it's up to you if I'm going to keep go that. For it. Go. Okay, so I got authority from the owner to go for it. So, let's see. She's a tough cookie. Done. Done. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. So, no more scratches. There's still a little faint one there. Yeah. I can, let's try one more time. Since you said I can do it. Just a little bit more. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I know, right? We got it. So let's, so now it's foggy. That's not a, if everything's clear, that's not, there you go. So do you guys see? Okay, so that, now that's that. So now we're gonna go to the next grade. So that was a 35 micron Trizac. That was the course. And now we're gonna hit it with, oh shit, this medium is not good. No, whatever. That's okay. So let's go ahead and mark it again. So I like to do this. 
so that you can see where you are. See, no more scratches. Yay! So now we're gonna just lightly. So we're just gonna now each step gets finer and finer. Oops, sorry, I just shoved it in there too far. So you can see that this got shinier. You see how each step gets shinier and shinier? I'm gonna hit it on this side just one more time. Just for good measure, no ring. There we go. There we go. So you see that nice and even? There's something weird for that. I don't know what that is. There we go. Okay. So now we're we're now we're gonna do the next step, which is the 10 micron. So that was the medium 20 micron. And so now I'm gonna hit it with the fine 10 micron. And these are Trizac. Again, oh here, let's do black. Let's do black. I don't know what she like this new base to do. Serial. 
them. I came off. Okay, so now let's like look at this. This is not a joke, people. This is no scratches at all. And we still have a nice good amount of crystal left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Okay, so so we're doing this live. You want to take an after shot, Yarrow? I did. Okay, cool. So you go ahead. Some more? No, it's fine. Some more. Keep going. It's amazing. I know, right, Nolene? Okay, so here. So this is not my watch. We are live from the Tucson <laughs> Gem Show. This is the Jewel Tool booth. That's what did, that's what worked on this watch. However, Nolene over here is my longtime customer and she knew the Jewel Tool could do it. And I said, Nolene, those scratches look quite deep. And she goes, I don't care, Ani. Go ahead and grind it. Whatever happens, happens. It's a cheap watch. Right, but look at that. Yeah, yeah, and it's a deep rock, so it looks good, Nolene. Perfect. Yeah. Look, it does look good. Even even under non-light. Forget my fancy light. Let's see. Does it can yeah, it no, pop? Oh, that's good. Right there. Yeah. See, no scratches. No, no scratches. Okay, my no darling, that's Thank yours. You. Thank you. You are so welcome, my darling. Okay, so you guys, I have tons of videos. Remember, don't forget to like, comment if you liked it, and subscribe to be informed when I post another video because I have some cool videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool, and I'll see you soon. Bye. God bless.